Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Evolution. So let me show you today how to use default upload settings for new videos that you upload to YouTube. So if we check my videos that I upload, we will see that I use a template for them. I only add the description that is relevant to the video and the rest is a template that I use and which remains the same for all videos that I upload. So let me show you how to get this template in place and how to write it. So in my case, uh, we will have to go to the YouTube Studio screen here, hit Settings and hit User Defaults. And here you will be able to set a default template for your videos. As we can see, the template is here. Also, other settings that you can set are is the visibility of the video, the default visibility, the tags that are added by default to your videos, and advanced settings you can set license, which is if the YouTube uh, it has a standard license or a Creative Commons which means that people can copy your video and reuse it without any penalty. Also, the category can be set by default. The language certification means that if it is an original video or it has aired on US television before, you can set here has never aired on television in the US if uh, it is, this is the case for you hold potential inappropriate co comments for review. This is also settings that you can set. Users can view ratings for this video and some monetization settings if you have uh, ads active on your channel. Okay, so now let's get back to the description because in this video I want to talk mainly about this description and uh, let me show you guys how I write my own description template. So uh, firstly, I want to show you the description that I had before because this is the second version of my description. So this, is, this was the first version and actually this is how I wrote content for it. So this is my first version of the template for my YouTube video description. So how it looked is that I wrote here some details about what people will find in the video. So I wrote uh, something like, hey guys, in this video, I will show you how uh, to something that I was talking about this video. So here on the top, I had in this video and it was a description usually short description about the video and below I added some relevant links to the video. So if I was talking about the plugin, I added the link to the plugin here. And bes below this, it was a standard template. So subscribe to this channel, uh, help me reach 5000 YouTube subscribers. This is a subscription link, my WordPress plugin portfolio link, some special offers that I have. This was the don't click this. This is, it, it was actually a reverse psychology. It is a, a subscription link to my channel and telling people to not click this link actually worked and they clicked it and they subscribed. My website, if people wanted to learn more, it was here. Uh, join, I also have a member only subscription. So this is the link and another subscription link this time for my uh, newsletter you could reach out to it here my facebook group tips courses udemy uh, some amazon links and uh, this text which uh, helped increase increased engagement in people who read this far in the description my social links and some other videos that people might find interested on this channel, some donation links and uh, 
a disclaimer that the content contains affiliate links. So keep in mind this is the first version of this description. So let me show you my current version. My current version is this. So I actually added a, a short description of the video to the top. So you it will say only uh, these tips will help you to if you want to watch this video. So for example, these uh, tips will help you to gain more views if you want to uh, earn more on YouTube, watch this video. So for example, this was just a basic example. I list here resources that I mentioned. So in the video, if they are listed any resources, resource name and I list the resource URL. Afterwards, about this video section, I write a detailed description about this video here. This should not only be something like if you want to then watch this video, this should be detailed. So I usually delete this part and I go in to details about the video in this section. And from uh, here down, it uh, remains usually the same between my videos. So I promote my newsletter, my WordPress plugin portfolio, my special offer, my courses. Uh, please help and give the video a like to increase engagement. So this is the part uh, that will increase visitor engagement by asking to subscribe, to join the group, to hit the notification and so on. Can I help uh, you or your business become a member of my site? Uh, can we keep in touch? Once again, a subscription for my uh, newsletter, F uh, Code Revolution uh, social links are listed below and some description about myself. This is something that I added in this second version of my def description template. So something that people can uh, actually know me better and uh, what I enjoy when I release new videos to the channel and what this channel is about. Recommended resources. This is a resource list from my site that people can check out and uh, recommended plugins that I also recommend uh, that I also make and some uh, Amazon links and the disclaimer that I also had before. And here I added hashtags. So uh, you can add maximum of four hashtags to your video. I usually add this to the bottom of my video. So yeah, this is my new template. So as you can see, I added hashtags, my presentation, my personal presentation, so people will know me better. And I reorganized things, I restructured it. And now I am making a short description of the video on the top, resource listing and the long description about it here. And the rest is about the same but with some elements added and restructured. Uh, so yeah, this is how I write my default description for my YouTube videos. Let me know what you guys think about it and thank you for watching this video until the end. Uh, your subscription to this channel is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye bye.